Hi, this is Sour Savior. Welcome to another Redstone Basics tutorial. Today I'm talking about ways to get redstone power. So the first and the most basic is your redstone torch. The redstone torch will power up to 15 blocks of redstone dust before needing to be uh, picked up. And as you can see, I've got it powering a light here. The redstone block uh, works just like the torch, except that you cannot change the output of a block except by breaking it or moving it with a piston. This is a button. You press the button by right-clicking on it, and it briefly delivers power. This is a lever. If you throw the lever, it will continue delivering power until you throw it the other way. This is a pressure plate. If a player or a mob is standing on the pressure plate, the stone pressure plate will deliver power to the light. The wooden pressure plate also delivers power if you're standing on it. But in addition to that, if you throw an object on it, then it will still power. The gold pressure plate produces a variable amount of power depending on how much is standing on it. Uh, as you can see right now it's producing one uh, block worth of redstone dust power and not making it all the way to the light. You can also power it by adding a lot of entities on top of it. And as you can see I threw enough on and now it is light. This iron pressure plate works the same way except that it requires a larger number of entities compared to the gold pressure plate. Uh, as you can sort of see in the background, I'm throwing things on and it still hasn't gotten enough for it to power on. Uh, it sure takes a lot. Anyway, uh, it's got a second redstone dust powered now. I think a lot of what I was throwing wasn't quite landing on the pressure plate. Here we have an observer. The observer will deliver a very brief pulse of redstone power uh, for the full 15 blocks. If it sees a change on the block that is facing this side, so if you see the little face on your observer and you place a block or remove a block, or if a piston moves something in front of it, or a plant grows, then it will trigger that very brief redstone pulse. Let's see that again. It's just that quick. Here we have a redstone comparator. The redstone comparator looks at the contents of an adjacent chest or hopper or similar inventory and then delivers power a variable amount uh, based on the contents of the chest. So right now this chest has enough items in it to power this block, but if I take out uh, if I take out several of them, then the power no longer reaches. This next item here is a trapped chest. Uh, it's called that, but when it's open, it just delivers redstone power. It's up to you to make the trap into a real trap for anyone who tries to open your chest. But as you can see in the background, while the chest is on, the light, while the chest is open, the light is on. I close the chest, the light turns off. And our last one here is tripwire. If you have two tripwire hooks facing each other, and you fill in the empty space with at least one block worth of string. And if anybody steps on the string, then each of the tripwire hooks will deliver redstone power. And you can power something such as a light, or a door, or a trap. Anyway, that's powering things with redstone. Thank you for watching.